is Managing with Jan Hopkins. Welcome to Managing. This week, protecting your business from corporate spies, gearing up for Valentine's Day, plus using the Internet to be a better manager. All that and more just ahead. Welcome back. In our Managing Insights segment, e-business. The Internet can not only help you expand your business, it can also help you run it. Here to share his thoughts on how the Internet can help managers, Barry Hall, Internet strategist at PricewaterhouseCoopers. Welcome. Thank you, Jen. What do you mean e-business? I mean, we've heard a lot about e-commerce, but what's mm -hmm. e-business? Well, um, there aren't any universally accepted definitions, but e-commerce generally refers to buying and selling things over the Internet. And e-business includes e-commerce, but it's much broader. It really is applying creative internet strategies to all aspects of running a business. And which ones particularly work? What ones have you seen success in? Well, um, I like to think about it in terms of the relationships. E-commerce relationship is between a company and its customers. Mm -hmm. E-business relationships include that, but they also include business to business and also um, company to its employees. And so is this mostly a strategy of an intranet, uh, the company to employees and helping manage the business and information and all of that kind mm -hmm. of thing? It's, it's primarily done on intranets, but more and more we're seeing companies reach out to employees via the intranet as well uh, for uh, the types of companies that don't have employees sitting at a desk all day where they could have access to the intranet. Now what kind of things do you do this way? Um, well, the, the primary areas we work with, um, I, I personally work with um, the company to employee aspects mm -hmm. of it. So it's managing employees and uh, organizing the company's interaction with employees using it. So it's human resources, basically. Human is resources right? is, is primarily the main area of interaction between a company and its employees, right? Can you do training this way as well? Oh, sure. A lot of different things. Be employee benefits, uh, training. Um, the, the main areas are called employee self-service and manager self-service. So if you think of employee self-services, allowing employees to do all kinds of things that they used to have to go through a person to do, and that person was probably in the HR department or in... Or in uh, so, so basically you can use the internet to fill out all of those forms. Uh, right, and right, uh, uh -huh. and can, you can check in on the status of your 401k or what's right, going on right. with your benefits. Mm -hmm. A lot of things with benefits, 401k, um, career planning, uh, signing up for training courses or even taking training courses online, uh, maybe uh, finding out what doctors are covered under the company uh, uh, medical plan or doing retirement planning online. I would think that uh, if you're talking about having your 401k on the internet, that one of the things you might be concerned about as an employee is security and the possibility of hackers coming in and having access to that information as well as you having access. Mm -hmm. that, that's, uh, you know, that's certainly one of the initial concerns that comes to mind, but there are um, there are uh, very robust um, technologies out there to, to deal with that sort of thing. Now, is this mostly large companies or all size companies that can use the Internet to, to uh, manage their employees? It's really all sizes of companies, small companies, um, all the way up to very large companies. And for a small company, is it very expensive to do this? Um, not necessarily. It depends on the approach, and uh, a company needs to measure the value that they get from it versus the cost. But some companies have done some, uh, some small companies have done some pretty effective things. Give us some examples of some companies that have really done well. Um, uh, one company we worked with, a financial services company, um, they surveyed their employees to see what type of applications would be <clears throat> the most interesting to the employees. And the one that won was an online 401k statement. Now, this was a um, financial services company, so there were a lot of financial analysts that worked there. So you can imagine they might be really interested, interested in what was in, going in on with their own account, own, right? Yeah, uh -huh. But for another company, it might be something different. It might be around training or even work-life balance or other things. Thanks very much. Barry Hall of uh, PricewaterhouseCoopers, thanks for joining us. Thank you. And up next, office crime, protecting your business from internal and external spies. The price of corporate espionage. That's when managing continues. <laughs>